Hello there, my name is Julian and I live in Lower Knoll. I've been running this Art of Kindness project for about three years now, doing it on and off, but it's um, been I've been doing an awful lot of it during lockdown and you might have seen some of the little pieces of fabric that I've left around uh, the local area and also around Victoria Park and I'll start off by saying a little bit about the project and then tell you about how I've been doing a project in on the Northern Slopes uh, funded by Philwood Fantastic and then we're going to do a little activity together, an art of kindness activity. So the reason I started the project was just realising that seeing nice messages around really made me happy and I thought it would make other people happy. I was living in Easton and looked at, was cycling into town one day and saw someone had written on a lamppost, you look great today and uh, I always enjoyed cycling past that spot and thinking about yeah, how that person's small action had made my day and kind of lifted my spirits every time I went past there and so I started kind of doing similar small messages uh, I tried to kind of make them so they weren't um, so that they would fit in with the local environment and I then during lockdown, I was working with kids uh, and the schools were closed, so I had more time to do more of these messages and put more around. And through that, uh, I was interviewed by a couple of uh, newspapers and someone from Philwood Community Centre got in touch with me and we put together a project on the northern slopes, uh, which uh, is the area between Knoll West and kind of going down towards Lower Knoll, uh, the open spaces. And so up there, over the last couple of months, we put quite a few messages that look like this, and they've been hung up, and all the messages are thing, uh, words chosen by local people, no, no West residents, to make it local. And so what I'm sending you in your pack is uh, some examples of the work I've done, but then also some that you can do yourself. So I'll just show you, this is what you would have got if you have your festival pack, which is a little flag that you can put up anywhere in the local area so the thing with the art of kindness is that it can be something that you do for yourself and I've had friends or people who've said it just cheers them up to have a nice little flag uh, telling them a message or you can display them for friends and family or you can put them in the local community so what I like to put on these messages can apply to all of those groups so um, to give you an example of some of the Northern Slopes messages that were chosen by local residents, it was things like, you look great today, you're doing really well, keep going. So anything, any words that you think you'd like to hear or you think other people would like to hear. So that's really what I'd like you to do with your flags. So if you don't have a flag, uh, if you didn't get a pack, then any piece of paper, any nice coloured pieces, piece of paper or even just a scrap of paper will do. Um, if you use a piece of paper, then it can be nice to write it in neat, your nice neat handwriting. And then what I've often done in the past is fold the piece of paper. This is a large piece, but if it was a smaller piece, just fold it into four and maybe put the name of somebody that you're giving it to or if you want it to be anonymous then you could just put a, a heart on the front of it 
and then you can deliver it or you can leave it somewhere. Sometimes I leave these messages in supermarkets or cafes or anywhere where people might just chance upon them. And it can really touch somebody's heart to uh, just pick up a piece of paper and there's a, there's a message for them. I mean, I normally choose very short messages, but of course you can write a letter or you can write a poem or you can do a drawing, anything really that you think would uh, cheer somebody up. And people often really value these items that they've just found uh, anonymously. But as I said, you can also write things for your family, uh, your friends, your neighbours or yourself. So I have quite a few of these messages in my flat, which is nice to, to see around. Or, or I, I put quite a few in the garden because people can walk past and see your message. So, yes, I'd, I'd like you to try that. And more than anything, just... I think uh, I came up with a little slogan for the festival, which was KW standing for kind words instead of Noel West. And I think kind words are, are very important because they might seem unimportant, but the words that we use with ourselves and with other people uh, can make all the difference. So sometimes it's just a matter of finding some nice words to say and not be discouraged by uh, other people and to sometimes yes be a bit brave and, and say what you're feeling in your heart for somebody or um, yes how you feel about life generally. There's also another thing we can do to show kindness or to share the art of kindness uh, which is think about our local environment um, one thing I wanted to mention about the plastic flags was uh, if you can keep a little eye on them because uh, we don't want to add to plastic waste these days but it's really important to think about uh, the, the local environment and how it looks and so another thing we can do is for example I try to pick up a piece of litter every day uh, it's a small thing, but it does make a difference. And uh, another thing we can do is, is giving people small signs of kindness. Uh, for example, just smiling at somebody can really help. Uh, especially, I always think if somebody's unhappy themselves, then a smile actually means more because uh, maybe they're worrying about something and they're finding it hard to be in the moment so that's another way we can share a bit of kindness um, and I think also something I try to do is is politeness, letting people to a door or letting someone go in front of me in a queue, these are all examples of kindness and so I like to think of the art of kindness as any way of making somebody else's life a little bit happier. Uh, but also I like to think of how I'm being kind to myself because often we can forget about that one and we can show kindness to other people but not to ourselves. So again, small acts of kindness um, are really important and for me that comes back to words as well, what words I can say to myself and word messages that I tell other people that I think they're great or that they're looking good or whatever, I need to make sure that those are also being directed towards myself. So I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the art of kindness. Uh, one of my big ideas as well is that we're all artists, uh, we're all creative, uh, whether that's saying something nice to somebody or being a bit kinder to yourself, that is an act of art in itself so I like to think that I've never studied art and you know it, it's almost like the art of living is linked to the art of kindness so I hope uh, you found it interesting to learn a bit more about that and to think about kindness and you might want to pop to the northern slopes and have a look at the the work I've got up there 
uh, maybe add to it with, with the bits that I've got. And a lot of people, when they've seen my work, have gone and done their own bits of art, whether it's cutting up an old piece of clothing and writing on that or, or writing notes to people. So I always love to hear about what people do because uh, I've learned most of my best ideas or probably all of my best ideas from other people rather than uh, just coming up with it myself because I, I think everyone's a, an expert at kindness. It's just uh, sometimes we don't know that and uh, we don't believe in ourselves. And also I, I do believe that everyone can learn to be kinder. It's not uh, something that I've just always had. I've learned the value of kindness as I get older. So thanks for watching this video.